Again, we have a simple equation, and to solve this thing, it's really not that difficult, except the arithmetic may prove to be difficult, all right? But again, it really boils down to arithmetic. Divide both sides by the variable's numerical coefficient. What are you going to get here? x equals minus 3.85 over 5. That's really an inappropriate way to write a number, by the way. So I'd either recommend converting it into um, um, a rational a ratio of two integers or uh, a decimal number. Let me go through the decimal first, by the way. So 5 into 3.85. What does that give you? Let's see. I'm going to say 7. And then what do you get there? You get 35. All right. Now I'm going to subtract 35. And what times uh, 5 is 35 is 7. So this thing reduces to, uh, not reduces, but it gives me a decimal of minus 0 0.77. All right, let me get rid of my chicken scratch. And I want to convert that to a ratio of integers, by the way. And there's many ways to do it, by the way. So I don't think there's only one way to write something down. But the um, reduced form of this thing would be minus 77 over 100. All right? So this is a good answer. I would actually prefer that. But I'll be honest with you, they spoke a mixture of numbers, decimal and um, an integer. So I'm going to say this is also a good answer over here. Both answers, whoops, sorry about that. Um, I'm sorry, let me um, rephrase. X equals, let me go backwards too. I don't want to circle that other answer. The other appropriate answer over here is X equals minus 0 0.77. They're both acceptable answers, by the way. Let's take a look. And what do I see over here? I see the answer here. And I see the answer over here. You notice that Sage, by the way, is going towards a ratio of integer. Thank you.